Uh, now it's just three days until the return of Dancing on Ice! <laughs> Michelle Heaton is one of 11 celebs preparing to take to the ring. She's been training hard with professional partner Lee Cash, suffering a few mishaps along the way. Uh, so is she ready for her ice skating debut? Well, let's ask her. Please welcome Michelle Heaton. <laughs> Super fit. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> How are you um, feeling? I'm knackered. No, no, I'm oh, I'm so excited. It's it's so hard. I mean, Nadia, obviously you did it. Um, yeah. if, well, what Thank was God it? I went out week one. <laughs> <laughs> but like, do you remember how how physically when did you and mentally do it? hard it is. Long time ago, but I went out the first week because yeah. the first time I fell over, it was so painful. I was like, I'm never falling over again, so I'm not letting go of his hand, and I didn't. Yeah, I'm but, pretty. But at you're that. falling over all the time, aren't you? Yeah. So Have you got a cushion in your pants? Do you know what? <laughs> Actually, um, Lucas, she's here today. Hi, Lucas. You can totally get these pants that are full of, like, foam. Yeah. And um, I looked at them and I'm really sorry. I couldn't do it. I couldn't wear them. <laughs> really? um, yeah, it was just so embarrassing. But um, I've been wearing knee pads, helmets, so I've, I have been guarded up and I've been taking their wow. advice. Could you skate before? No, so I'm actually wow. like, a complete novice. Wow. The only thing I've ever done is at Christmas with the kids. OK. So um, I honestly... Didn't think it would be this hard. I don't know what I was expecting. Have you got an injury right now, right? Well, I'm trying not one. to turn that way very quickly because I've got a bit of whiplash on my neck. From the falling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I had, I think, four falls on Monday. Oh. And do you know what it is? It's, it's just... It's forgetting you're on ice. <laughs> like, I'm calling it menopause very and brain dangerous. fog. Because um, I just stand there and the falls usually come when I'm still. Yeah. And I forget that I'm... You know, right. not on, not in shoes, and then my feet just go, and then I'm on my back. So I've got to be careful but of that. It's crazy because we're saying all of this. You know, I read that you said that this is a new chance for you. Mm. Like, what is it about doing the show and being involved in the show that's making you feel like that? I think it's been, you know, it's been such a long, a long few years um, mm. uh, battling addiction and, you know, the hysterectomy that we talked about earlier when I saw you and things like that. It's just been a lot. Yeah. yeah. And. Um, you know, the reality is that I might not have had this second chance of, of life, let alone of doing what I love, which mm. is performing. Mm -hmm. And I get to do that, so it's so special. Because you've been asked to do it before, but you didn't manage to do it the first mm. time round, did you? Did you? And yeah. actually, do you feel like then wasn't the right time for you to mm -hmm. do it anyway? It would have been disastrous, cos, you know, I wouldn't have been in the right space of mind to do something like this, mm. you know? Um, you've got to be super focused and you've got to keep up with everybody to, to stand a chance to stay in the competition, you know? But, you know, my body and my mind wouldn't have been ready for it before yeah. and I just feel like this is, this is my time. I'm really I'm, excited. I'm, what I love so much about this, and I remember interviewing years ago, actually, on the rain when you just had your hysterectomy, because you had the BRCA gene, don't you? And then you had yes. the double mastectomy. And I remember at the time looking and thinking, God, you're so young, this is so much. Were well, you being... 33 when you had that? The hysterectomy, yeah. yeah. And to be Very plunged young. into menopause and all of that. Yeah. And then and then when I read, I haven't seen you since your, you, you talked about your addiction and, and your sobriety, more importantly, yeah. because yeah. the riches that mm. sobriety has brought you. 20 months sober. Yeah, well oh. 20 months sober. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and that is a huge yeah. thing. What you've done. Thank you, darling. It um, really is. It's, it's, it's hard when you're the person in recovery, you know, mm. you, you hear it all the time, you take one day at a time, that is how we take it, one day at a time. Mm. You know, we live sober for that day and then the next day is a new day. And, um, but when you put it down on paper and you look at the sobriety mm. days and hours and minutes, you know, the, we couldn't, I couldn't get a day. I had all these promises of being able to stop and not realising why you couldn't stop. I, I, I had no idea why I couldn't stop and it was just mm. every day, just repeat, yeah. repeat. And now it's not like that. And so, yeah, I'm really proud of the 20 months and long may it last. Oh, yeah, well done. And, 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 and your husband is incredible, isn't it? Because, yeah. of course, there's always another person that's mm -hmm. dealing with, with somebody's addiction. And you just, yeah. you've just you stuck through so much, haven't you? Yeah, yeah look, look at them oh, three. Oh, um, such beautiful. You know, of course. How old are your kids now? Faith has just turned 11 yesterday and oh. AJ's about to turn nine. Oh. Um, and oh, they must just... be so excited about you doing darts and on ice. Yes. Faith is absolutely, you know, beside herself. <laughs> she was with me when I got the call to say that I had got it. 
and you know when you think you know you've got something but you're not quite sure because those calls usually yeah. happen to me and say that you just haven't got it you've got this spot it just it's always it's been like business that. Business really? show, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then the call came and my manager said, you've got it. And I burst out of tears and Faith was standing with that. me and she said, yeah. have you not got it? And I said, no, I have. And she burst out of tears, <laughs> gave me a cuddle and oh. said she was proud of me. And that, that, all of this is, you know, yeah. just to bring happiness back into our lives again. So, yeah. Yeah. And what do they make of Luke Ash? Well, AJ <laughs> came down to watch us practice and um, he, t he had a word with Luke Ash and made sure that he was going to keep me safe. Your I'm son? Not... Is this yeah, your son? Yeah, yeah, my son, who's eight, and told him um, to not do the headbanger. Um, but I said to AJ, Mummy will have to do what Mummy's got to do to stay in the competition. <laughs> So we'll see. <laughs> oh, oh poor little you're thing. to win it. You want you want to win this. You're competitive, are you? I so, do you know what? I don't know if I'm competitive with other people. I'm competitive with myself. Yeah. And I figure, you know, this isn't going to happen again. And I'd be lying if I didn't say I wanted. I didn't want to reach the final. Of course I do. Yeah. You don't enter something like this and, and want to be out early. You'd love to be at the end and dance the bolero. Of, it would be a lifelong dream, of course. So I just got to get your votes and hopefully <laughs> do myself Aww. proud. And, and Lukash, you know, you, the, all the pros, they're so amazing. Yeah. They're just incredible. When you see those, the, the, the girls, you know, they're so tiny. Yeah. And they're letting these hapless male celebrities. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm going, are you sure you want to let him do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm right. I, don't, I don't know how to do it. You know, I was watching Joey and Vanessa the other day and, and he's trying to pick her up and the poor thing's, you know, on the ice and I'm like, Vanessa, you're right. Oh, she's used to it. They don't. Oh. They're yeah. so it's brave, quite something. You, you mentioned um, brain, uh, menopause, brain fog yes. and, mm. and falling. Has, have your menopause symptoms impacted your training in any other way? Mm. Um, well, where I was always hot, like, the, the ice is a nice one. <laughs> Definitely. That's brilliant. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I I can definitely sense a difference with my age now than what I was, you know, before everything. Mm. And you know, Lukash is telling me things to do and what to watch and bend my knees and all of that, and I nod, and I'm hearing him, but it not it doesn't happen a lot, and 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 I'm just. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a lot like of people that, that yeah, agree. Also, you're trying to stay alive. Because yeah. these people <laughs> ask you to dance on knives, yeah. on ice. It's That's crazy. what it feels like. It's a lot. It's like you're standing on it, a knife. It is. Wow. I saw Tor Valadu the other day and I literally was like this, because the tricks and all the stuff, much as just trying to stay yeah. balanced. So. And these guys have been doing it for so many years, all of their life, like Lucas when he was younger. And, mm. and then we've got, like, three months. And <laughs> it's, it's Because how long have you been, you've been training for three months now? Yeah. But it is wow. amazing how far you come from the first time well, on the ice. Yeah. I, I thought I watched your VT back <laughs> yesterday, and I thought you did great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I tell you what, Michelle, we will oh, absolutely we will be, be rooting for you. Yeah. We're very proud of you. Yeah. 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 Well,